time again for a Lucia Capital Group weekly video. Individual retirement accounts, or IRAs, are, as the name implies, savings vehicles for your retirement. It's pretty simple. You contribute money to it over the years, allow it to grow and compound, and once you turn age 59 and a half, you can begin taking penalty-free distributions if you so desire. And that's generally true for all IRAs, whether it's a traditional or a Roth. And while there are ways to get money out of a traditional IRA before age 59 and a half without a penalty, with a Roth, the tax code allows for some further exceptions and flexibility to those penalty rules that you may be able to use to your advantage. So along those lines, here are three things you may not have known about a Roth IRA. First, you can always withdraw your contributions at any time for any reason, no penalties, no tax. This, of course, is just the amount you've actually contributed not any earnings you might have earned in the account. This feature is unique to a Roth IRA. You cannot do that with a traditional IRA. So let's say you're under 50 and opened up a Roth IRA and contribute 6,500 to it this year, which is the maximum allowed for 2023. And let's suppose that those investments in the Roth grew your balance to 7,500 later on. In this example, you're eligible to take out the original 6,500 at any time, at any age. But if you took out the additional thousand in earnings, you may be subject to taxes and penalties if you withdrew it without following the rules. Now this freedom is nice, but keep in mind that if you take out those contributions, that money is no longer working for you. So it's probably best to do this only as a last resort. So how do you access the earnings in the Roth pre-age 59 and a half? Well, there are a couple ways to do that. One is to fund your child's college education, or your own for that matter. If you use the Roth funds to pay for qualified education expenses like tuition, books, fees, and supplies, that 10% penalty on withdrawing the earnings is waived, although the earnings will be subject to taxation. And if you're over age 59 and a half, and it's been at least five years since you first contributed to any Roth at all, all of your withdrawals, earnings, as well as the contributions are tax-free. One thing to look out for here though, check to make sure that the distributions don't affect your financial aid if you're looking for some extra help through FAFSA. Just something to keep in mind. Another way to access the earnings before age 59 and a half is for a first time home purchase. The Roth IRA rules allow you to withdraw up to $10,000 of your Roth's earnings and less than five year old converted principal for a first time home purchase, tax free and penalty free, as long as you've had a Roth for at least five tax years. What's more, this $10,000 homebuyer exemption is in addition to all the contributions you've made and any conversions you've made more than five years prior. So if you've contributed, say, $50,000 to the Roth IRA over the last 10 years, you can take out the entire $50,000 of contributions plus up to $10,000 of earnings for that first-time homebuyer exemption. Of course, assuming you have that much in earnings. Now, make sure you adhere to the five-year rule for this one as well. So yes, the Roth IRA has some distinct advantages that other traditional retirement savings vehicles do not. As always, be sure to check with your financial advisor before you make any decision about taking money out of your Roths, as everyone's individual situation is different. Now we talk about things like this every single day with our clients at Lucia Capital Group. If you'd like to know if one of these Roth withdrawal strategies may be right for you, just give us a call. As always, we're here to help.